Okay, hey guys, this is a little bit of a different video, but, um, I bought this PC controller today at Target, Logitech F310, it's pretty nice, I like it, the only thing I don't like it a lot, like, I'm not crazy about, is the D-pad, the 8-way D-pad, I don't I mean, I'm more used to the D-pad, I don't care what it is. I am more used to a four-way D-pad that's a little more clicky, like you can hear. Alright, yeah. Alright, well, um, so I just, um, plugged it into my PS3 to see what would happen. Here, look. It's hard to hold this up, but you can obviously see here. Let me try using the, um, yeah, there we go. That's better. I switched the analog and the D-pad because my, this control has a mode button. I'm already like, loving this. You can use the D-pad as an analog stick, which makes that make, makes a little more sense now because that, it feels more like an analog pad to me. Not like the thing on the 3DS, that thing. Like, it feels more like, um, it feels like it's the contacts of uh, an analog stick on a D-pad, to me. But whatever, you can see now I'm using the D-pad as a, um, thing, the, uh, as a analog stick and the analog stick as the D-pad. It's gonna make me look like a liar, isn't it? There you go, you can see that. If you didn't know, the D-pad can be used to move up and down a little bit, and left and right a little bit when you're flying. So that's a famous tip, yay. Um, but yeah, apparently PC controllers will work. Except, the only thing is, everything works except for this Logitech button. This Logitech button does not act as a PS button. I, I don't know why, but select works, start works. You saw the D-pad works, and here you can see the D-pad works, analog stick works, right analog sticks works, jump, throw, inventory, inventory, but you can see it all works. Changing the um, punching, all that stuff. Um. And here, I can even prove that, um, alright, yeah, it doesn't work as a PS button. Oh yeah, it also has the, um, it has, like, the click down button. Here, you can see that this controller is obviously off now. I turned it on, now it's on. So now if I hold down the... Button. Oh, just wait a minute. Now, how do I tell how many? Actually, yeah. You. Oh, why did I just do that? But yeah, you can see that this is controller. This is connected to controller port. Controller two. And this was off before, so it automatically goes to the next one. So this obviously is number one. This obviously is number two. And there are no other controllers around here. No over there. No over here. Nowhere. Not under me. Nowhere. Oh, well, there's that one. That one's off. You can see it's off. It's off. It's not even connected. Yeah, you can see it's not connected. Cable isn't connected. So yeah, you can see that. Apparently, oh geez, I was holding this the wrong way. Sorry. Um, 
But as you can see, that PC controllers apparently work on um, PS3. The only note is, is that mine has a has a switch on it for direct input and X input. I had to set it to direct input and then re-plug it in and press the, uh, the Logitech button to turn it on. Here, as you can see here, let me set it to X input. It stopped working. It says an unknown USB device is connected. Focus on that. Now it's gone. But yeah, you can see now it's not working anymore. And if I even if I switch it back to direct input, it's still not working. Press the Logitech button. Press the Logitech button a bunch of times. The pad not working. The only way it works is, is set to direct input. Then you unplug it. Oh, that is the video converter. Oops. Um, unplug the uh, controller. Not your. Jeez. Your video. Your controller. Not your video converter device. Uh, not your video converter device. I said. Oh my god. Yeah. And plug back in your. <laughs> controller and now you can see still not uh, now it is working you can see it's working now I thought I would have to press the logic button to make it start working again but apparently not but yeah if, if, if that, this means that if you can find an Xbox styled PC controller you basically could have an Xbox controller on your PS3 so I think it's pretty cool, and I kind of technically do because look, because this is basically like man, I can turn on mode analog stick. Analog stick, and this is the D-pad. It's like if I go, I can't go diagonal because D-pad doesn't have diagonal on PS3. But yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Um, if you liked that I found it. Leave a like and thanks for watching.